Hi guys, Debbie Gonzalez from Social Media Ad Reviews here to give you another review. So today I'll be doing a review on Kim K. Now remember guys, my review is for value. My reviews are about value. They're not about how well they work. They have to work well too. But I'm talking about value at the end of the day. Um, here's my receipt showing that I did buy it. I'm back here and you can see I bought um, two in quantity. So I bought one for me and one for my daughter. We were super excited. They actually, um, within the first day they, that they came in, they sold out right away. And I was pretty shocked. I was like, wow, you know, I didn't even get online. So with still so the, the next time I had signed up for their um up their uh, notifications for when they came back in stock, got their notification. I was on my computer, like I have to be there right, like right now. I felt like I was on eBay bidding for stuff. So um, what I did was I was I made sure that I had, you know, my time. I went in, bought these guys. I was super excited. Bought two kits, one for me and one for my daughter because she uses contour kits as well. So um, and I gotta tell you. When I got it, I was like, oh my God, you know, I didn't, you know, people are giving her, you know, they're giving her a hard time about her packaging. I don't care because what do we do with our boxes anyway? We throw them away. I don't even care about the packaging. But what I did care about was what I got. So these contour kits come in four. So they come in light, medium, dark, and very dark. So it comes with, a, it comes with two types of contours. Okay, and then it comes with a highlighter and a concealer. And um, I don't know what immediately grabs your attention. But when it comes to makeup, size does matter. So I'm going to tell you right now. This is the concealer. This is my pinky. It's the size of my nail. Yeah. The width, pretty much, of my finger. And all of them are like that. So I did try the makeup on. And it once it goes on lovely. It glides on, it works beautifully, but I'm afraid to use it because there's such little quantity. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'll, I'll be done with that within the next month. So what I do believe they should have marketed this kit for is a travel contour kit. I don't believe it should have been marketed as an everyday kit for the for the modern day woman. I am a mother. Um, at one point I was a single mom and there's no way I would have spent money on that. And the thing is you really you really can't you can see the size in the in the um on the videos and you can kind of tell but you are you you're like hoping that your eyes are kind of playing tricks on you because I know I saw I saw the makeup tutorials that she had done and um and shout out to Jeff and Jacqueline and Tati and everyone that gave her a review. And what I noticed in these reviews is everyone talked about the quality of the makeup and how it went on. And they were they were so right. But what I noticed was everyone stayed away from the quantity. It came with this brush, which is a great brush, feels nice and soft, and the sponge on the other end. And I gotta tell you, the sponge doesn't soak up nearly as much makeup. And I think that's a good thing because it has such little quantity. However, and you know that's my catchphrase. What I do also have are the Anastasia palettes. Okay, Anastasia palettes come with six different options and it comes in wet and dry. So excuse the appearance of my palettes, but I, you can tell I use them. I use, of course, this a little more. I share this palette with my daughter. I've had it for a year. Sharing with my daughter, mind you. This is the wet, again, excuse the um, the palette, I've had it for quite a while also, had it for about a year, and you can see. And the good thing about these palettes is they're removable, 
oops, got some on my hand, but they're removable. So you can just pop that out and put in a, a new fill when you want to. And you get six colors. So do I think that the product is good? Yes. Do I think it, it's, it works well? Yes, I do. But you know what this is going to be for me? It's going to be the item that I don't want to use a lot because I don't want to, I don't want to waste it too soon because I don't want the ex expense of replacing it because it, it's, it's so little, you don't get the value. So my ultimate um, review, my, my final say in this review is my Anastasia palettes were $40, 45, I think, 40, either 40 to $45 when I bought them. It's been a while. This, this kit was $48 without shipping, which shipping was $8.95. Now I happen to buy two, so it basically cost, cut the cost of the shipping $4.50, let's say, right? So about $4.50. So each palette cost me almost $53. So what makes more sense to you is to get these for $53 or get something like this for $45. Even with shipping, you would probably still, just getting this shipped, I got these at Sephora, getting them shipped from Sephora, it still wouldn't be this. But the the other value you have with this is you can walk into Sephora. You can't walk in and get this anywhere, so you undoubtedly will have to pay the $8.95 shipping. Do I think this is a value? No. Do I think it works well? Yes. What I will advise you guys to do is stick with what you know is a value and my my advice to kim and kim i've done research and development for many years for many companies i've done marketing for many companies she had a video that she did that was um she herself stated that it looked too rustic and they had to lighten it up but part of it i think it was because they wanted to make sure you got the coverage on this this should have not been sold as a woman's everyday contour kit. This is definitely should have been sold as a woman's travel contour kit. And if a woman wanted to pay the the eight forty eight dollars for the convenience of a travel kit, then that would have been on her. But to say that this is an everyday contour, I'm sorry, you can't. I mean, this will be done in a month. I won't use it. Now I happen in for what I do for a living, I actually happen to travel a lot. So this will probably be going with me when I travel. Um, I usually travel with my powder because my powder is my day look and my cream is my night look. Again, I share this, these palettes with my daughter who's 18. So this isn't just a one person, this isn't just one person using it. It's two people that are using it. We've had it over a year, about a year. And that's, what, that's what's worked for us. My daughter and I share one of these. We'll be done in we'll be done in a couple of days. So that's my take on it. Do I think it it's it's a nice product? Yes. Do I think it glides on well? Yes. Um do I think it's for the everyday woman? No. Do I think it's worth the value? No. So they need to go back on the drawing board and either create bigger kits or um Re remarket this thing. I mean, this this was a total disappointment for me as far as value. I don't think it was value. Um, yeah, the novelty of having a Kim K kit is great, but what's the point? So you can say you have Kim K makeup. Like, what's the big deal? You can get the same. You can get better quality. You can get even the same quality or better on something that was much cheaper. You know. So that's my take on it, guys. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't. Thumbs down, comments, questions, insults, advice. I don't, you know, just leave the comments below. You know, I, I just hope you found the video helpful. I, I wanted you to really, really get an idea of what you were getting as opposed to what you're seeing and the hype. As a single mom at one point, I would have never, ever been able to afford something like this. Not for what she's selling it for. Uh, you guys decide, it's on you like I always say. Uh, you can like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash social media ad reviews. So you can share this video however way you like or 
not um you can go in and like my social media uh page on facebook and i hope it helps take care take care guys and uh i'll keep hopefully i'll hear from you soon bye